Welcome to today's um, design review. My name is Eke Ade Ade Tunji, and I'm glad we have four designs from the group members. I'm going to be checking out what each designer needs to work on on his or our next um, project. Okay, but before you know, I you know get into the design review, I need to share just this short um, tip with you. All right, now uh, one of the reasons why most creatives always have issue with coming up with good design is because there's something that you i believe most creative lack and the day you start seeing design the way i'm about to share with you now i believe it will help you coming up with good design what i'm trying to say here is design should be like the way you see things in real life where how things appear in real world you know we see things in three-dimensional view so that's the same way you should see graphic design when you're working on design projects see yourself creating a picture see yourself creating a world all right don't see graphic designers that you know um you moving elements around on that flat surface you're looking at in front of you no see graphic design as you building a world where you know you let people understand that okay this element you're looking at here is closer to the eye then the one that looks smaller to your eye is far from you all right and the way you play with the elements also matters okay those elements have their own purpose they have when you're supposed to use them you don't just use them because you don't want the page to be empty you use them because there's a purpose that you want them to achieve on your project i'm going to stop here on this and i'm, I'm going to go straight to the four designs that we have today this project here is um what I like about this project is the fact that we have less color on it. All right, because um, you know part of what helps successful design is to watch out for the number of colors that you use on the project. I noticed that this designer used the the monochromatic color harmony here, but the issue I have with this is um, whenever you're working on design project and you realize that you have your background looks uh, busy. Um, you need to be careful with the way you, you know, put your information on it. So if you're this designer, please, when next you're working on your design projects, avoid applying too much shadow behind your small letters. Now, most time, the reason why we use shadows on our project is we're trying to portray that saying, um, uh, 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 there's something holding that element at the back that makes that that's you know uh, when light bounce on it and then call the shadow out. But when it comes to uh, designing projects with too many uh, with this busy type of background here, please avoid making use of shadow on small letters. It's not always uh, nice. Okay. Trust me, if you did not use that shadow behind the information here, you will find out that the information here will still be visible. Even if it's not visible, there are other ways you can make them visible. One of it is um, applying, making this the bottom part of your frame here darker. I'm referring to this side here. Make it darker. All right. When you make it darker, it makes the information here visible. Another good option is to draw a shape, all right? Just to draw a shape here, all right? And, you know, make it, uh, uh, to make it visible. So whenever you're working on design project and you find out that your design, your background is busy, please limit the way you use shapes and other effects on your uh, design project, okay? Then the other thing you need to work on if you're this designer is the alignment, all right? alignment watch out for alignment make sure you uh, make your uh, element aligner this is what i'm trying to say i know most creative always make this mistake of okay so if i have um an icon the icon is not supposed to be aligned with the other information on my design that's a big lie the icon is also part of the project so the icon also need to align with the other things that you um, place on your design then the other thing you need to work on if you're this designer is the, the use of um, too much flushing left and right on your design. It's not always good. I've, I've mentioned this several times. The way you flush your uh, flush elements 
is another way you create contrast in graphic design. So making it too much is not going to help the look of your design. So watch out for that. But the color you use here is beautiful. It's just the things that I mentioned here that I think you need to work on. Okay. So let's go straight to our second design. All right. So um, on this second design, okay, um, this is another um, good color project. Okay. And um, I like the fact that every information here is um, visible, okay? But the part you need to work on here is please the room for white space, all right? The room for white space. Now, the reason why you need to always allow room for white space is so as to make it easy for people to, you know, assess the information on your design. The use of white space help that it create that relaxation on the design. But when everything on your design is too close, it make that design look as if something is something is not right. And that's why most time, whenever you work on design project and you arrange the element, you find out you still have this feeling like there's something missing on this project. The reason why you always you always find yourself in that situation is when you are not using when you are not using white space. The way you're supposed to so i would advise you to please allow room for white space on your project now this project is talking about um coding bootcamp for kids uh, please whenever you're asked to work on design project for kids there's something called fun because what, what you're trying to do here is to make every child interested in applying for this and as graphic designer part of what's put us at as a uh, part of what get us good clients is when we create something that draws people's attention to our project and part of how we do this well is to understand our target audience is to do something that will make them want to check every information on the design project so whenever you're working on design project that got to do with people like this um i expect to see something more playful yeah the idea is about coding and not play but since we have the age group of the focus the target audience here uh we should we should be able to do something around that making them want to look at it now this is not to now start adding balloons and all those uh, confetti and so on no if i when you do that the the message is going to change because that's going to look more of uh it's going to look more like a party poster but what i'm trying to say here is when it comes to coding there are some What's it called? There are some uh, um, symbols that when people see, they know, oh, this is coding. So those symbols are what you should use to make the project look interesting. You can create a, uh, a 3D uh, outline of those symbols and then place them around your background. They put your information on the design i believe with that it will even still look more interesting than what you did here so please whenever you're working on design project have it in mind that okay i need to create whenever you're asked to work on design project for people between its age of seven to ten have it in mind that i need to create something more um interesting something more uh, a bit playful but we still pass the um, right um, message okay the other last part is color all right color 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 there are some colors that when you combine them on um project for people around this age group it makes the project look more uh interesting okay so color is another way you make you give that lively look you know the goal is for people to register and how you create that making them um want to register is to create that form so they know that okay the coding is about having fun. All right, now the illustration user is fine. I like the fact that we have that, you know, little kid with um, keyboard looking at the screen with a smiley face. That's beautiful. But for me, I believe the other another way you can make this look more interesting is to do what I ask you to do. And trust me, if you do it that way, you yourself will be happy with the end result of the project. Okay, so let's go straight to our third design. All right, so on this third design here, what I notice is the use of fonts that are not really suitable for projects like this. All right, now this font here is um, a bit closer to display type. And how I got to know is the way we have this 
R here is not really looking like a sans um, serif type. All right. I uh, please when it's your actual work on project like this, please avoid this type of uh, letters. And the other thing you need to work on again is making your information too close because this tenth edition here is too is too it's too close to the title. All right. Now I like the fact that you, you allow room for white space. All right. I can see white space here, which is beautiful. Okay. Um. Yeah. So. Yeah. All right. And yes. So another thing you also need to work on, if you're looking at this video and you're the designer, is, uh, please, this using of um people on your background the way we have it here is not okay. One of the ways you can make this look nice is to not make them colorful. All right. You can make them um um black and white. All right, you can make them black and white and it will still help. But listen, there are times you can, there are times this is needed. Like you can do this on your design project, but you only do this when the information on the project call for it. All right, you know, like what I always say to you guys, uh, graphic design is more about telling stories. All right, it's about um, creating a picture, like it's a, it's a still image with voice. All right, it's the still image with voice. It's like the way you see a stop sign. You know, when you see a stop sign, it doesn't tell you stop. But that sign tells you, okay, you're supposed to stop. All right, so that's the same way, that's the same principle you're supposed to apply to um, your graphic design project. Okay, so when the design is not calling for it, please don't, don't uh, uh, do it. Okay, um, yeah, I think um, that's that on this the way you make this here is not um, um really okay okay in fact left to me what i would have advised you do is to just put the coming soon remove the coming soon from here because the way you move the coming soon too close to the title it looks as if the coming soon and the title are together all right and that's another thing you need to watch out for whenever you're placing elements on your design making them too close to each other will make it look like they are one so and that's the reason why white space is very important on your design project so for me i would advise you just take this out all right just remove this from here okay and you can now put it somewhere here it can be here all right it can be here okay and this can now leave this spot here i don't know why this is here but since it's this tiny it means it's not really important so take it out all right and another thing you need to work on if you are the designer please avoid the use of um too many different i mean this type of um shape here all right and by this shape avoid it on your design project you only use it when the um the information on the design call for it okay that's the only time that's the only time i think um, we can use it you mostly use this when the design says something about button all right if the design says something about button then you can use this type of shape but if it's not saying something about button don't use it all right don't use it it would have even be nice if we just have just the text on top of the account number without that red box behind it all right and this can now be anyway the position where we have this is not that bad all right it's not bad it's not bad but just that we just need to make it align with the other information on the design alignment is very key in graphic design this is not really bad all right because um i noticed that the designer did not really play with too many colors here yeah? all right and um please guys yeah i know i always ask you not to play with too many colors but when you don't play with color most time on your design it's going to make the design boring all right color is very good in graphic design in fact when you combine it well um it always help design look beautiful you always make it look successful all right, so don't be a graphic designer, uh, color shy person. Play with colors on your design project. Okay, so um, yeah, 
so for this all right uh, what i just think this design i need to do here is to uh, create what i call separated lines all right so create what i call separated lines so as to help the flow of um reading the information on the design all right yeah i believe that will help there so um avoid this like i said in the previous design avoid the use of um, tube all right they always make it look like the information you put on it is a button so don't use it it's good when um it's always good to use it but you can only use it when the information is talking about it i mean the information calls for it and i hope you guys get what i'm trying to say um here okay and um yeah what else again and also please your cropping all right please make it smooth okay because when you do this in graphic design you're trying to say that um this part here is also a floor all right but when we are now seeing all this white stuff here it will look at it will make the cropping look like um the picture is cut out from is cut out with a scissors and then you now paste it on a flat surface so uh please make your cropping neat okay and also uh yeah please your background at least make something put something on it all right put something on it it doesn't have to be visible just something light to just you know it can be here and here all right and then leave this side plain okay or you can even make duplicates in order, in order not to create too many um distraction on the design um you can cut out part of this all right and just place it here so the focus will now be here all right you can just cut out part of this and just you know i'm talking of the leaves here all right the plants here just put here so as to just make the project um uh, look more interesting um a bit okay and uh, whenever you're working on design project and you see figures on your design um play with it all right figures most time are what make they always make design look you have this this beautiful look all right and most of the reason why it's like that is because you know designs are always loaded with words 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 and when you now have a figure on it it makes that design have this this beautiful feel it gives the design this unique feel so don't just use it don't just use it like the way you use the the way you you know place the the words the letters on your design make it a, a bit abstract all right now you remember the goal here is to create something interesting is to create something eye catchy is to create something that will get people involved to read every information on on the design project a part of how we do with this as creatives is to you know play have fun all right put that fun on the design okay so um fun most time is what draw people's attention to look at your design projects all right fun and there are different ways that we you know uh, uh put fun or call fun on our design projects one of it is by is by creating what i call suspense and that's why you see most time movie posters i'm talking of foreign movie posters here you see them create something that some they play all right they do more of playful stuff on their design forget the fact that the movies horror film or um, action movies they do more of playing on their posters and that play is what create that suspense so whenever you're working on design projects do more of playing with uh, um, um, your elements all right the way you play with your element is what draw make the project look interesting now the play part here is not to now destroy the design with elements that are not necessary all right no that's not what i'm saying i'm saying if you're going to use the right elements on the design project make them have this um look at me look all right so have your audience in mind see how you can create something that will make the project go like look at me this is me i want you to read words on me i want you to put your focus on me that's the same principle you're supposed to apply to every design project you work on all right and you do this well when you understand the use of the design elements their purpose what they are used for 
what each element serves why we have each element because those elements are those elements serve as the picture they are what you put together to build the image that draw people to look at the project on your design project so you need to understand each element that's number one then number two is the principle the principle is what gives lives to the project the principle is what help people to assess the way you place the elements on your design project so these two things work together the principle and the elements so knowing how to combine them knowing how to use them is what gives that design that successful look all right and see guys um graphic design is not okay this is how things are supposed to be done no graphic design is all about there's a principle there's a law i'm supposed to know it's not about is that's not what graphic design is about graphic design is about having fun all right it's about how you see the world it's about okay um i need to make sure that i help people i need to make sure i make whoever call me to help him or her or any brand that call me to make good design for them to be ahead of their competitor so we do this by understanding the project and also the use of combining the design elements with the design principle together to pass the right message and don't ever think of graphic design as you know i said this in the beginning of the uh, of this review that don't see graphic design as okay it's just the moving of those things called elements on the flat surface which is your screen and put the information and marks to put on it and send it no that's not what graphic design is about graphic is about graphic design is about you creating a picture creating an image all right creating a story with picture all right creating a an image with picture like for example if i have a knife if i'm holding a knife now and my face is like this if i immediately you see it you know this is evil that's what graphic design is about all right so guys i'm going to stop here so whenever you're asked to work on design project please have this thought in your mind that there's a picture i'm trying to create there's an image i'm trying to build that needs to help that will help people to easily access the information on this design and get the message fast all right so i hope you guys enjoyed today's um review and uh share this video with your other graphic design friends and family and if there's anything you learn from this review please drop it in the comment section if there's anything you wish to learn from me again please let me know in the comment section and if you have not subscribed remember to hit the subscribe button and please guys share this video all right share it okay so um thank you again and i'll see you in the next one peace